Hello and welcome to a new episode from the Ripple server. Here we are again. This is what we have built the last episode and our first episode from this awesome new server. And before I forget it, I want to mention that we, the Ripple Effect community, we have a public Discord channel on our Discord server. You can find a link down in the description to this server. So if you want to talk to us, have a nice little chat, click that link and uh, yeah, check that out. And there's also a link to my private or my personal public Discord server. Feel free to click that link as well and um, yeah come and hang out with us and me and yeah this awesome looking thing was built up by sin i would think um that is probably quite the preview you've got there and this is from orbney uh, one of our new members uh, his villager trading hall and villager breeder in the back or what is that anyway you can trade here awesome things awesome books i think i saw even a mending one yes mending for 16 emeralds wow awesome also uh, i wanted to quickly show you down in the mines we have here this nice way down built by sin as well <laughs> and yeah sin was pretty pretty active uh, the last couple days and yeah, it leads down to here where we have just some random sugarcane and cacti growing. But there is something really, really, really cool I stumbled across while exploring a mineshaft that is down here. And that is one spider spawner, one zombie spawner and one skeleton spawner all in, uh, in range to each other. So uh, yeah, look forward to that one. We will work on that uh, in one of the next episodes. But um, yeah, not sure when that will come out because I have to pre-record at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to Nice and Marseille in France. And uh, yeah, that's why I have to pre-record a bit and that is quite the large project for me so I don't know oh I have to go that way um, yeah so I don't know if I will actually be able to do it before the vacation but now let's head into the nether because I want to do a little bit of work on my room in the hotel today oh and let's turn down of the hostile mobs again. Um, yeah, I want to do a little bit of work on the mining desert that way, on the hotel room that we have in our hotel. And uh, yeah, I also want to do a little bit of work around the uh, communal area, do some, yeah, nice nice uh, pathways and I think I walked the wrong way. Where is the way to the mining deserts people? Uh, because I want to go there to get some sand and also some gravel if that's around there and uh, get some concrete powder and probably this way. Yes, this is more like it.
and there we are. This is our mining desert. You can see it's already quite mined off and right next to it a mining mesa. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Nice little story when we built that. Uh, we just only died a couple of times <laughs> because as you saw there were some nether fortresses and yeah we thought it might be a good idea to explore them and obviously we died because um, yeah I personally am not very good at this game so yeah but oh, I just uh, yeah, but when we finally arrived at the coordinates we calculated and went through the portal that brought us out in some mega tiger because we didn't know there was a set world border at that time and um, that was at around 5000 blocks out I think capping us pretty much and uh, yeah so <laughs> Uh, we had to increase the broad border size slightly to actually get to the place here to our mining desert because this is quite far out nearly 10,000 blocks out and um, yeah but now we can come here and get our sand and sandstone if we want to and our clay or hardened clay and uh, yeah that's all fine and dandy. If you liked that little song I played in the time lapse of me running here, go check out my SoundCloud page. Uh, I hope I remember to put a link in the description. There is that song and some more that you can download if you want, use them in your own videos if you make some. But yeah, now I will be uh, gather some sand around here and then I'll see you back at the communal area. So bye bye All right, and there we are again in the hotel I gathered some orange and white concrete uh, because I want to put in uh, some rows of chests around here and I'm not sure which one to use actually so we will have one side that has here the orange concrete along the side uh, like uh, that and the other side will basically look the same but has white concrete and then I can much better decide with which I want to go with and the idea is that we then have here rows of chests Let's remove the torch and like that, like that. Four high, f five, yeah, four high, I think, should be good. And then we can have a trim of oak or something like that around there, oak stairs. And uh, yeah, same on uh, this side. And then next one would be around here let's grab this and like this and carry that along here and let's do that with the orange concrete as well like that and uh, when we come into the room what actually what is looking better Hmm, hmm, that's a tough one. I think I have to build up some more before I can actually decide. So let me do that and I'll, I'll bring you red black. I made a decision for the moment. <laughs> I exchanged this completely white thing with a border of orange and here uh, as well and I put in uh, the middle pillar as white concrete and um, yeah I think that carries on this theme the best but you can convince me otherwise pretty easily <laughs> I'm not very very convinced of this design also 
put in this little desk and wanted to put put in some paintings and uh, yeah then I noticed I don't have any leather left also don't have oh there's one leather so we can at least make uh, some some uh, item frames so that is good we can let's make that a mini and then let's remove that and like this because when we joined and stepped the first time into the water i think we got these paddles from the server as a little present and uh, yeah that is here to remind us now of uh, the a server start on the 2nd of September, one hell of a great of a time we had. And now I want to grab some stone, some cobblestone. And we are going to have a stroll over to the nether portal that Sin put up. And what are we doing over here, you may ask. And uh, yeah, I wanted to check how he laid down the path for the nether portal. Uh, because I want to put down some more pathways around the area for people to um, yeah, have a little bit more of an organized way. I'm German after all. The organization is our thing, I guess. <laughs> So uh, he went very very rustic here uh, So maybe we can combine uh, That into each other very nicely um, So let me uh, put something down and then I'll bring you right back And here we are again. I just pulled this pathway along a little bit more and then started to just sprinkle in the cobblestone slabs in the pathway block and you see the uh, steps I made with oak wood because that works very well with the path block texture or color uh, better said and then yeah I just pulled the path block along here connected that building up and also the farms building over here and um, yeah we can now walk around here this is maybe a bit diagonal I, I'm not sure all of this can change of course that's how it is with the landscaping and then I put in uh, this staircase here and I think it turned out pretty nicely the noobs uh, came also and helped a little bit his idea were these stairs on the sides and um, yeah he did some comments that helped a lot and uh, that is the pathway along or through the starting base or starting area around here and now I want to put in some of the or some trees and I don't want to have uh, just your usual oak tree or something uh, I want to try something more modern so maybe we can just oh, not just like that have maybe three high and then I chopped some leaves some oak leaves and uh, maybe can put them around like uh, this pull them higher above and uh, make something nice out of that and have uh, some uh, nice trees around the pathway and uh, maybe some blocks more like that maybe mm, oh geez and that's not looking too good mm, mm, mm -hmm. Maybe these away. Maybe that's better. That's like a middle finger. <laughs> mm, okay, how, how can you make this look pretty? I have to figure that out and we'll put some more around here. All right, I put in some more of these custom trees around the area and I think they start to look 
good, but that might just be because I am looking at them for a half an hour, maybe now. <laughs> also put in some bushes around here with some torches underneath as hidden lighting. And um, yeah, that's something I would have to uh, pull along or have to do along the whole area here. But I first want to talk to the guys and peeps on the Discord, see what they think. Oh, I forgot to um, see what they think about it all. And uh, yeah, also talk to Sin because I know he had some landscaping plans. He gave me a go ahead. Uh, to just uh, you do some pathage, pathage and stuff, but um, yeah, I ov obviously want to check back with all of them because this is the community area. We all have to be uh, uh, all have to like it around here, and yeah, also put in a pathway to the mine around here, and uh, now I have some bone meal in my hand that we can use. Uh, just to get some nice grass around so the bush bushes uh, don't pop up too much uh, but also we don't have to <laughs> use it as extensively uh, as I do it right now here that's basically a lot of trial and error and um, yeah that's not looking too bad I think it's a it's a good start. Uh, let me know what you think of the trees. Do you have some ideas how to do them better? Also, some alternative ways to do some hidden lighting. And uh, yeah, I'm very thankful for all of that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button and also check out all the amazing people that play on this server all very worth it and uh, yeah give them a hug and a like and say to them that I sent you and I hope to see you in the next one until then I wish you a super great time and say bye bye